some people have a little difficulty coordinating two buttons to do a screen capture on an iPhone. I'm going to show you how to do a screen capture using an accessibility feature that's built into the Apple iPhone operating system. This will allow you not only to do a screen capture, but there are other options available too. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a screen capture. Let's get started. On your home screen, find your settings icon. It may be in a different location than you see here. Click on settings, and then scroll down in the settings window until you see accessibility. Here, you'll see another window. You'll scroll down, and you're going to choose touch. And here, you will choose assistive touch, and you will turn assistive touch on. The moment you turn on assistive touch, you'll see a white dot appear on the lower right side of your screen. Simply tap your finger on the button to open up the menu. In this menu, choose device. And when you choose device, choose more. And in more, choose screenshot. This will immediately take a screenshot. This last step completed the setup of your capture button. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to leave your system preferences. I'm quitting mine and I'm returning to my home screen. And notice that the gray dot will still appear no matter what application you're in. And I can touch the dot and drag it around my screen and put it in any location. I prefer it on the right hand side. In this case, I'm going to use Google and do a screen capture. The dot is here, and when I tap on it, I'll see device. Press on that, and I'll see more. Press on that, and I get my option to do a screenshot. That takes my screenshot, and now I'm ready for the next step. Let's just share this screen capture by tapping on the thumbnail on the left to open the image in the editing program. And here, you're going to tap on the arrow on the top right to share. This is going to open your share options. In this case, I'm going to use messages. And you'll fill out the messages window too, like you do any other text, and just click the blue arrow to send. Don't get disoriented though. You will end up back in the editing section of the screen capture. And then you can click Done to return to the application that you were originally working in.